in this video we are going to check about the five summary problem so when we are discussing about the box plot we understood that um, for example this is a box plot so we had five components of a box plot the minimum value then the maximum value then we had the q1 then we had the median q2 and then q3 so this is called 25 percentage of the value so this is 50 percentage of the value and this is 75 percentage of the value so this is these are the various components of a box plot so in the five summary problem we are going to calculate minimum and maximum value then we are going to also calculate q1 q2 q3 then we are going to calculate the inter quartile range which is nothing but q3 minus q1 and we can even identify the outliers by calculating the upper range of the data set and lower range of the data set so the formula for upper range is nothing but q3 plus 1.5 into iqr and the lower is q3 minus 1.5 into IQR. So these are the different parameters that we are going to calculate in this five summary problem. So let's take an example. So for example, the problem is 42, 58, 67, 55, 40, 69, 66, 51, 46, 48, and 68. So this is a given data set. So in the data set, the first step is sort the data set. Okay, so we have to sort it. So when we sort it, we will get the data set as 40, 42, 46, 48, 51, 55, then we will get 58, 66, 67, then 68 and 69. Now we have to find the median of this data set. The second step is find the median of this data set. So the median of this data set is nothing but 55. So it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Odd number of samples. So exactly the median is 55 which is denoted as Q2, right? And then we have to find out Q1. Okay, the third step is you have to find out Q1. Q1 is nothing but you take this range, leave the median and you take, as it is an odd number sample, you leave the median and take this range of uh, data samples. Now again, find the median. So we understood that the median of this is 46, that is Q1, all right? Then in order to find out Q3, so again, you leave the median as it has odd number of samples. So we'll take this and here you take 67. Okay, so is equal to 67. So this is the Q3. Now we were able to understand. We have identified that Q1 is 46, Q2 is 55 and Q3 is 67, right? And then we also understand that the minimum value of this data set is 40, the maximum value is 69. So with this, we can draw a box plot. So this is 40, this is 46, 55, 67, and 69. So this, this is a five summary. So we were able to achieve these five summaries. Now, if you want to calculate, if you want to identify if there is any outliers in this data set, we have to calculate the upper and the lower bound. So let us do that. So for that, let me calculate IQR is equal to Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 is 67 minus 46. I was able to get it as 21. Now, upper bound is equal to 
Q3, that is 67, plus 1.5 into 21. Okay, so now if you calculate this, it is 98.5. Then the lower bound is nothing but 67 minus 1.5 into 21. So which is nothing but 35.5. Now we have to, all your data set values, okay, all the data set values that is given here should be between this range, okay, between this range. If any of your data set value is outside this range, then there is an outlier. So from here, we were able to understand that there is no outlier in this data set. Right? So this is problem number one. Now we will also see another example, problem two. All right. So the data set is 5, 9, 9, 9. 30, 19, 19, 19, 23, and 25. So now we will uh, count the number of samples 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So there are even number of samples. So as there are even number of samples, we have to take these two values. Okay. So we have to, as I'll calculate, Q2 is equal to 13 plus 19 by 2, which is nothing but 16. So this is Q2. Now to calculate Q1, I'll take the upper 5 samples. All right, I'll take these 5 samples. In that, the median is 9. So Q1 is 9, right? And to calculate Q3, you have to take these samples, okay, the lower uh, 5 samples, and then here, the median is 19. So now we have calculated the Q1, 9, Q3, 19, and Q2 is 16. So the minimum value of this data set is 5, and the maximum value of this data set is 25. So let's draw a box plot for it. So we'll start here. So minimum value is 5, the maximum value is 25, and Q1 is 9 and 16 and 19, right? And this is how we can draw the box plot. Now let us understand if there is any outlier. For that, let me calculate IQR 19 minus 9, which is Q3 minus Q1 is 10. So let's calculate the upper bound. That is 19 plus 1.5 into 10, all right? And the lower bound, is nothing but 19 minus 1.5 into 10. All right. Now it is understood that it is understood that it is the bound is. 34 and here the lower bound is 6, right? So all your data set value should be within this range. Okay, so is it within this range? Now we could understand that 5 is outside the range of this one. Okay, so all others are inside but 5. So 5 is an outlier. Okay, we were able to identify one outlier from this data set. Now let me give some practice problems. Okay, so practice problem number one is 14 So this is, similarly, I'll give more practice problem, which you can solve it and submit it as an assignment. 